just, I can't even talk. This is Memorial Day food financial proof right here. Mr. Flo, clearly, Mr. Flo, I will more than beat you. Look at, see I'm shaking? That's shaking for my workout. In any arm wrestling workout. Hold on. My boob look funny. Couple of things before I forget, because you all know how my mind can wander. Today's workout was now my third week of Valerie Waters. Okay, can you see this? I, I'm, I'm not making that up. That's from working out hard. Okay. No. For some people that think if I ever sneeze on my blog or wipe my nose that I have a drug habit. <laughs> For those of you that really know me, you know I'm so clueless. The only kind of things I know about drugs are what I see on, I didn't need to pick my nose, CSI. I think I said something like, are you guys smoking heroin or what? I think you don't smoke heroin. I think you like put it in a needle or something. Anyway, it's a good thing I don't know about drugs. Um, I did Ibiza today. So for those of you that are new, there's three circuit workouts. You alternate every other day, I'm not giving anything away. And you do cardio every other day, specifically what is in here. I did write Val and I'm like, kind of liking my results. Should I add more cardio? She's like, Kelly, listen to Valerie. So I'm not, but I guess, I don't want to stand surprised. After I did one week of these workouts, I was like, Kelly, don't even think that these are easy. So I no longer think in any way that they're gonna be less of a workout. Number one, I'm getting stronger and better at everything each time I do one of these. So for example, you guys have heard me talk about these really nasty, um, first of all, Pike was today, that was one of the moves. And then one of the uh, abs core one was, I don't know, what's it called? Body saw. This thing is a bitch. Um, I could barely do it last time. And uh, I think it calls for 20 reps. And I could barely get through five and then I had to stop for a while. Uh, today I got through, the first time I did 13, then I did seven. This, then the second time I did it around, I did 17 and three. So I'm really focusing. And again, less time when I have had to stop. Um, and uh, what else was I get? Oh, I have this little trick that I'm doing with myself. Because I don't know if you do this when you're working out, especially if you're doing circuits, there's things that you're gonna use a timer. Like you guys have seen me, I use that bit timer on my uh, phone. Can you see this one? Uh, Cause I, I can feel my hair getting all wet and nasty. Um, I use my bit timer if I'm doing like Tabatas or uh, a specific hit workout, right? Where you wanna do 20 seconds, 30 seconds. But if you're counting, so if you have 20 reps of something, um, quite often it's easier for me or it makes it more palatable if I chunk it. So it's, I'll go like five, four, three, two, one, five, four, three, two, one. Or sometimes I'll count up to 10 and 10 backwards. If it's 15 reps, sometimes I'll go up to eight and then count, you know, so I'll go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. It just breaks it up. But sometimes I've noticed that I was doing one of these and it was 20 reps of something, 20 reps of this, 20 reps of this, 20 reps of this, and then so on. And I found myself losing count. And the reason that you're gonna lose count, people, is if you're not focusing, if you're letting your mind wander. And I don't know if you're like me, but realistically, that happens a lot with me. And if I'm starting to think about work or whatever, I'm not focusing on what I should be focusing on, which is the muscle, correct form, whatever. So if I ever lose count and I'm like, did I have five more or four, you know, one more. I have to do an extra one. So if I lose count, five extra. Um, it's a good way to keep yourself in line. And um, you know, heck, what's the worst thing that can happen? You're gonna do five extra. That's not a bad thing. So that's that. The other thing is, I think I'm gonna have to get these bad boys out. I've told you guys, one of the reasons that I, I have yet to be able to conquer pull-ups is my grip is, is not strong. So remember when uh, Jenny Lynn was training me? Um, she has these and there's many brands of these. Uh, if you look in the back of Oxygen Magazine, um, they're called uh, Versagrips. So this one is her brand, but Versagrips I believe is the brand. So it's to help when you're doing like pull-ups or say you're doing deadlifts. It's kind of weird to look at. I hope I'm gonna do this right. I'm putting it upside down. So you put this on your grip 
and then you, but when I was doing the ultimate body press, uh, pull up move thing for your back, no idea what it's called right now, I'm barely alive. Um, I end up on my last set, it's not necessarily my back, the strength in my back is good, um, but it's my grip, where like, when I'm holding on to the, say it's, you know, this is obviously too big, but say that's the, um, that's the, the bar, this is what's happening with my hands, like they're falling off, so it's my grip that gives out. When you have these Versa grips, you put this on the bar, you roll it over the bar, so then you've got that extra, see what I'm saying? So whether it's a lap machine pull down, you pull this, I'm trying to think, if she does it this way, I think you can also do it this way. No, you would do it this way. I gotta look at the video again. I'm pretty sure that you would roll it over this way, and then you've got the extra thing. So even if you're if you're pulling up, it's gonna give a little bit of extra support. So I'm gonna start using these when I do the uh, the back because I was on my third set and I had to stop. It was like I'm trying to think. It was uh, 12 reps, and I got to like my last three, and I had to stop. And like I was barely, my hands were sliding off. So it's really my grip. I notice is is a lot of what gives out. But um, I gotta tell you. See, um, and the other thing is too, um, I, I guess the more, the more that, it, it, whenever I spend even five, 10 quality minutes with a trainer and, and they, whether it's yoga, right? So when I told you I started going to, to Corey's class and he was addressing me, when you really, sorry, I thought I heard a mutant outside. Um, remind me to tell you about the mutant raccoon outside. It's not just a raccoon, I think it's the devil. Um, but when you have somebody who is really, I'm sorry, there's a piece of hair here, um, knows what they're doing and they adjust you, it's amazing how like a tweak, the smallest tweak can make such a huge difference. You guys, if you're gonna put your clothes on and get all sweaty and nasty like this, sometimes it's silly, you don't think about it. But if you're, it, who is it? Kathy says in her, in her DVDs, if you cheat, you're only cheating yourself. That's the truth. Like, if you are at home and you work out with a DVD, it's very easy to cheat. It's very easy to get tired at the end and not do your stretches, which is, don't get me wrong, as soon as I finish this, I'm doing my stretch. Because that's usually what I stop doing. It's very easy to go, oh, I don't feel like doing core today. Or say you get to chest, you're like, oh, I don't like doing chest. Okay, so then you're just hurting yourself. Um, but also, when you're not doing form correctly, if you're rushing through something, Thing. We all know, you know, it's very easy for us to be at the gym and go, you know, look at the guy who's doing this with the, um, you know, head weights that are too heavy for him, and he's not realizing, like, maybe go down five, ten pounds and do it slow so that you, you know, you're doing this. That's going to work a lot more than, and then I'm hurting my back, right? So we all know obvious stuff like that. But like when I was out in LA with Val, where are my Val bands? Oh, I can't stand it when there's like one stray hair that's sticking on me. Val bands. Okay, I give up. Which, by the way, soft plug for my friend. Uh, I cannot wait to get in the shower. Val bands and Val slides are on sale, uh, I believe through Tuesday, but it might just be through tonight, 20% off. I'm telling you guys, not only are they already very reasonable, I don't make any money from this. She's just my friend. Um, uh, not only are these very reasonable, but I use these for all of Kathy Friedrich's workouts videos because I don't like these bands. Nothing against Kathy, I love her. Um, I found it, I found the hair. <laughs> so happy now. Um, but anyway, when I was out with Val, she was showing me, she's like, I want to see your form on um, whatever it's called, the sidewalky things and whatever. So just one little tweak. So, and you guys have done this. If you've done Kathy, you've done fire walkers, where you're, you're bent in a bent leg, leg position. These are around your ankles, right? And so your legs are like this, and you go over, over. So whether it's called fire walkers or sidewalkers, whatever you want to call them. But she was watching the way I was doing it, and she said, stop leading with your foot. So in other words, it's almost like my legs were like this, as opposed to like this. And I was, when I was leaning out, I was going with my foot first like that, as, and she goes, I want you to stand straight and lead with your knee so that your whole leg is going like this. That little tweak totally puts so much more focus on my glutes, and I don't know if I'm saying the right muscle, but it just totally changed where the focus was going on my, on my body, just by not, instead of, again, think of it, these are my legs. Instead of leading with my foot like that, I'm leading with my knee so that it stays straight. Oh, when you're working out, 
and you put the time and the effort into getting into a sweaty mess, make sure your form is right. One of the things I was doing today was for uh, rear delts, and you know, a, a little, this comes from when I was at physical therapy, and you guys notice a lot of times, even when I'm when I'm sitting here and I'm shooting my vlogs, I'm correcting my, my form like this, my posture, because sitting at a computer desk like this a lot, is what jacks up and puts so much stress in your neck and your back and that's why my, my, my back is, is so messed up and holds all my tension. So constantly I'm changing my desk, changing everything in, in my office and then I'm constantly noticing that when I stand, sometimes those of us that have the girls up here, we tend to be like this, you know, like you're always thinking that you think that it's really bad to stand up straight but it's not. People, ladies, if you have boobs, people notice them, whether you stand like this or whether you stand like this. So stand like this and work on improving your, your delts. If you're, you know, I take after my mom. I have small shoulders and big hooters. I can't take the hooters and put them up here. So we're just working on getting really killer delts. So um, that said, work on your posture. When I was doing the rear delt moves, if you're not careful, it's very easy to start, she should have made this in physical therapy, or I do, I tend to shrug up. So then all of a sudden I'm doing more in my traps, where if in the middle of it you're paying attention and you put your shoulders down, and then you're, I'm not doing it right because I'm trying to keep my arms in the camera. If you make sure that you're doing it right and you focus on the muscle that you're working, huge difference, see? All of a sudden between that and that, um, same thing if you're doing bicep curls. You could be doing bicep curls, and if you allow yourself to do this, then you're doing this, okay? So close your eyes, focus on your form, get the most out of your workout. That said, I have to go shower, clearly, because if this was smell-o-vision, you guys would be like, girl, that's nasty.